In this video, we're going to be finding the volume of 3D shapes. First, let's start with cube. So this over here is a cube, and this is a problem we're going to be solving. So the formula in finding the volume of cube is psi to the power of 3. If they say psi is 13, so volume is equal to s to the power of 3. And in this scenario, volume is equal to 13 to the power of 3. Or that is equal to volume is equal to 13 times 13 times 13. The answer is 2,197 yards cubed. The reason why we should do cubed is there's a huge explanation for that, okay? So yard times yard times yard is basically equal to yard to the power of 3. And yard to the power of 3 is also yard cubed. So in this scenario, it would be 2,000. 197 yard cubed next we're going to be moving on to the next uh, problem which is this this is a rectangular prism or some people call it a cuboid the formula in finding uh, a cuboid or rectangular prism is length times width times height in this scenario it would be 4.5 times 6.8 times 3.4 now that we have our formula and our equation we will now do the calculations the answer would be 104.04 yards cubed the formula in for calculating a regular triangle would be base times height divided by 2 however because this is a triangular prism there's also another height in this um geometric figure there's another height added so you do times height again and this time it had to be capital in this scenario it would be seven times five divided by two times twelve I'll link it. Okay. okay so now that we have our equation let's do the solving it says 210 in this scenario volume would be equal to 200 and 10 inches cubed. The formula in finding a cylinder is pi times r square times height. Now that we have our equation, let's use the measurements and try to fill them out. 3.14 times 36 times 11 so that is that is our volume the reason why i put 36 is because 6 to the power of 2 the power of 2 is an exponent which represents 6 times 6 therefore um it, therefore 6 times 6 is equal to 36 which is why i put radius as 36 the answer is 1243.44 inches cubed now we're going to be doing a rectangular pyramid. The equation to finding the volume of rectangular pyramid is length times width times height divided by three. In this scenario, it would be 18 times 12 times 19 divided by three. If you find any multiples of three, such as 18 or 12, you can divide it itself and still get the right answer. I'm gonna do 12. So basically, it would be volume equal to 18 times four times 19. Now it's way more easier to calculate. The answer is 1,368 inches cubed. To find the volume of a triangular pyramid, the equation is, you have to put times 1 by 3. This equation can also be simplified by bh divided by 2 times h, but instead of multiplying by 1 by 3, you can instead do bh times h, and then you divide it by 6. That is also another way. We we'll use this equation to find the answer. So now let's see our measurements. So now let's write the base. The base is 16 feet, and the height is 10 feet, and the other height is 5 feet. 
Now that we have our measurements, we have to divide it by 6. Let's first find the value inside the parentheses. Now that we have 800, we have to divide it by 6. Because there's a remainder 2 and it keeps on repeating, we put a bar above 3,3. Three. 2 represents that it is repeating on and on and on. However, if you are given a test and it asked to round it, then the answer would be 130 feet cubed. Now we're going to be finding the volume of the last shape, which is cone. The equation to finding the volume of cone is pi times r to the power of 2 times h divided by 3. This is the equation. The reason why I'm dividing by 3 is because if you remove dividing by 3, this is the equation to finding the volume of a cylinder. However, we're talking about a cone here. So, a cone is actually a third of a cylinder. Therefore, we have to divide it by 3. Volume is equal to 3.14 times uh, 25. The reason why I put 25 is because 5 to the power of 2 is equal to 25. And the height, which is 11. And then we have to divide it by 3. First, let's find this part first. 3.5 as of now. Now, we will move on to the final stage, which is dividing by 3. The answer is 287.833, and we added a bar above 33 to symbolize that 33 keeps on repeating forever and ever. And it's inches cubed. This is how you calculate the volume.